the Outlook desktop version, you can plan a meeting and there's some handy features here. So if I click new meeting, I can type in the name of the meeting and I can invite people that are required to be there. And if you want an optional, you can put people that you want to notify about the meeting, even if they're not necessarily required to be there. You can set a reminder to ping them. You can set a Google Meet join link. So this will set up a Google Meet join link right in the meeting invitation. And I'm going to choose a Monday holiday so that I don't mess up anyone's actual calendar with this practice meeting. And I'll st set the start time and end time. And now I'll go up to the scheduling assistant, which makes things a lot easier because I can see other people's calendars. I cannot see what they're doing, but I can see whether they are busy or not. So if I back up to Friday, I can see that Friday might be a problem. So let's see, I'll go back to the Monday where I had the meeting and I will click add add room or add resource, it's the same thing. I'll go up to add room because that'll make it a little easier. Add room. And I can see that AHS is Andover High School. There's conference call lines. Um, if you scroll up and down, you see Doherty. Uh, let's see, that was Sanborn here. And towards the bottom, we see WH for Wood Hill and WM for West Middle. So if I want to book the West Middle Library, I will click there. If I double click, it adds it. Or you can click once and click OK. Make sure it's sitting there before you click OK. And now it's showing me that there are some bookings on Monday. So I have to make sure I avoid those. And this scheduling assistant will let me click and drag this bar as necessary to make sure I'm finding a clear spot for all the participants, including the room. And at this point, I can hit send. And the person on the other end will click accept if they're accepting the meeting or tentative. Um, the rooms don't have an acceptance. Uh, it'll just happen unless you've been told otherwise. Certain rooms in the district, like the school committee room, have someone that oversees them. And then you would want to check with the person that oversees the particular room. So your school might not be using this room finder yet. So make sure you check with someone if you don't see your school in that list that we just had on the screen. You can still change things like add attendees, um, but this, in meeting, this meeting invitation is pretty much ready to go. So I'll just hit send at this point. One last thing to know about when you're using the scheduling assistant is that auto pick can help you if you don't see a hole in the calendar that accommodates everyone. Just make sure you choose all people and all the resources. In this case, there's only one resource. And at this point, it will move the bar, the column, forward and it will find the next available time that all are free.